Hello there, Trevor with Gongs Unlimited with a brand new Gongland product, the Planetary Tuned Nipple Gongs. This particular gong is a Mercury gong. On my left is a 30 inch Gongland Mercury, and on my right is a 32 inch Peisty Mercury. Now, chiefly the difference between the regular tuned planetary gongs and the nipple tuned planetary gongs is the, the tightness of the frequency. Now, the root note of both of these is a C sharp two, about 70.5 hertz. I'm gonna cheat and look at the sticker. Yeah, 70.64. Other folks have already done the math to figure all this out, and I'm not gonna pretend like I understand algebra because I failed math class, but you can see a lovely blog post that we'll link in the description that breaks down more of the science about uh, planetary tunings uh, and uh, the math in which it takes to get them because the truth is the real tuning the planetary tuning of mercury is much much lower than our ears can hear so in order to get those frequencies audible we just double it you just double it and go up an octave another octave another octave until you're left with something that a human being can hear for the mercury gong that ends up being uh, 70.64 hertz or in the third octave, 141.27. And uh, we're gonna demonstrate just the sound briefly. We're gonna play this gong a little bit. I'm gonna tap around on it, and we're gonna tap around on this gong and hear what sounds different. And we'll also bust out a tuner to show that no matter how hard you hit the nipple gong, uh, it doesn't fluctuate very far from that fundamental planetary note. Whereas with the flat gongs, whether it be a Peisty or Gongland or Etkin, whatever, planetary gong and if you hit it harder it will have um, this is with any gong but the, the tuning will waver just a little bit that note will go up and down and up and down because it sounds oscillating through the gong A nice solid concentrated sound from the nipple gong. Now we'll go to the 32 inch high steam mercury. Again, a nice concentrated sound, but uh, with the flatter gongs, there is just a little bit more oscillation, a little bit more fluctuation in the note. So you're still getting that root note, but the harder you hit it, generally when you're sound healing, you're not really cracking the gongs, but you know, it's your gong. You can play it however you want. It'll just oscillate a little bit off of that note if you're hitting it really hard. But uh, with the gong land, you can hit it pretty much as hard as you want. Again, not like you need to be cracking these things like uh, like your Babe Ruth. He was a slugger, right? He might have been a pitcher. I don't know. I don't. I know about as much about baseball as I know about algebra. Not a lot. But there's not, the overtones are a little bit more tame and the overall tone with the nipple gong is a little bit more focused than the flat gong. You've got more sort of overtones with the flatter gongs, which overtones aren't a bad thing, but is, is a little bit more focused, and we're gonna show that with a tuner. So now, with the tuner out, we're going to tap on the nipple, and we're gonna see just how far the note oscillates up and down. So upon impact, it can fluctuate 
a little bit harder, but it evens out. And it really only is going up and down by a margin of maybe five cents. You can see um, the waves there that it's, it is going back and forth, but it's pretty concentrated. So now we're gonna go to the non-nipple gong and we're gonna compare that oscillation. So again, it's still hanging out in that range that it should be about 70.5, but the harder you hit it, the more the overtones sort of take over and it oscillates a little bit more. Not to say it's out of tune because it's not. Both gongs are in tune and they're functioning as they're designed to function, but you just get a little bit more focus with the nipple gong and that's what's so exciting about them for our frequency lovers out there. You know, if you want to get as close to the true planetary frequency as possible, with no wiggle room, then this is a really exciting gong and uh, a great companion to any other planetary gongs that you may already have because this isn't to say that these planetary gongs are bad by any means because they're amazing, they're great and they work their purpose for sure, but this is just a new, uh, a new sort of look at it, a new take on the planetary gongs and uh, we're very excited to show them off and get them in your hands as soon as we can. Thank you. Have a great day.